Hola, bienvenidos. Welcome to beautiful Tamarindo. Buenos dias, good morning country collectors and welcome to Costa, Costa Rica. Rica. We ended our Guatemala series a bit abruptly as we ran out of time to do some things with you before we went home to spend some much needed time with our families. That's right and it was great yeah. but now we are back and ready to make some more amazing memories with you starting here in Tamarindo, Costa Rica. But before we get started make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our future adventures. All right. All right, let's get started. Well, you're probably wondering, well, how did we get to Costa Rica? There are two international airports here, one in the capital, San Jose, and one up north in Liberia, which is the one we flew into. We ended up spending a few days in the city of Liberia at the Pura Vida Hostel, where we were working and planning our travels around Costa Rica before heading to the central bus terminal and buying a ticket to Tamarindo for 2,000 colones. Check it out, they have this colorful money. This has a shark on it. I love <laughs> that I love how colorful and fun money is in other countries Me too. that's awesome it took about two hours to get here there are faster options like a private taxi or a shuttle but those prices are significantly more expensive I got quoted about $50 for a taxi that only takes one hour so it's whatever you have and what your budget really allows for once in town we got dropped off in front of Anaya's restaurant and took a quick walk over to Tamarindo backpackers we've been enjoying our last few days here they offer private rooms and dorms we're staying in the 12 person in shared dorm it costs 28 dollars per night and here they also have a pool a shared kitchen wi-fi hammocks it has a really great environment so we definitely recommend it and you know it's been a minute since we stayed in a hostel so we kind of forgot about the community aspect of it and it's just been great yeah that's the best part you know when you're in a hotel you're kind of just with one another but here in a hostel we have met so many people i feel like more than we met like the last two years combined and it's nice because you kind of get like the inside scoop some of them have already traveled Costa Rica for three months, so we talked to them. I'm looking at you, the traveling hat, mm -hmm. and they've given us such, you know, invaluable information. Absolutely, and it's just nice to share that travel experience, because mm -hmm. like we share with you, it makes it that much better. Yeah, so if you're looking, when you come here to maybe connect with some people, we definitely recommend staying in a hostel. All right, what do you say we head into town? It's a great idea. Come with us. And something that you might not know about me is that 22 years ago, my first ever solo trip was in Costa Rica. Not Tamarindo, but in Santa Teresa, where we're gonna be going in our next video. So I can't wait to see how much it's actually changed and what is new. And I'm so excited that you're gonna be here to share it with. I'm sure you guys are excited to get to the beach. It's just down this way, but how about we head through town first? I like that idea. Tamarindo is a very walkable town, but you might want your own wheels. This place here, we just walked by Handlebar, and it says that they they rent beach cruisers for $10 a day, $45 a week, and $90 a month. So if you're staying here long term, it might be nice or even just a couple days to grab a bicycle and just go cruising. And they also have mountain bikes as well, so you can do a little more adventure. Right now we are on Central Ave, which is the main drag through town. There is no shortage of bars, restaurants, surf schools, shopping, and tour operators here. You are not lacking for options when you come down. This is actually very busy, busier than we thought it was going to be. and that probably has something to do with the fact that it's only one hour from the Liberia International Airport. So people just land and come straight over here on a shuttle. It's really cool and very lively. Let's go take a walk around and see what else we can find. It's 10 a.m. right now and it seems like the town is just coming alive. Tamarindo is known as a place where you play hard and party maybe even harder. Across the street here there are some bars. The one that has barbecue on top. We actually walked by it last night and it was full with people and they were singing karaoke it was such a lively place a lot of fun so if those if you like doing those two things you know having a lot of adventure and then also playing hard partying at night this could definitely be the spot for you just off the main street we popped into this restaurant and bakery we have been we had an eye on it for a couple of days now it's called breaking bread and you know I'm a punny guy <laughs> so we had to go in there and check it out and we know some of you are breaking bad fans and it made us think of our old roommate Phil because he loved the show hi Phil hope you're doing 
doing well. But yeah, we went in there and we got a couple of smoothies. I went with the redneck. And I got the orange blossom. Boom. Oh, orange boom. And check <laughs> yeah. it out, it even has the little breaking Heisenberg bread. breaking bread symbol on the front. And I also got this almond croissant, which just looks delicious. We'll take a bite. Ooh, let's do this. Looks like crunch, nice big crunchy almonds on it with some of that paste inside. Oh my goodness, it's like the perfect sweetness. A little crunchy on the outside and so soft and that almond and powdered sugar on top, man, just takes it to the next level. But really dense too, I was carrying it. I was like, mm -hmm. is there like a brick in this thing? Yeah, it's like a pound. So yeah, if you're looking for a nice little place to go and get some breakfast, we definitely recommend popping in there. They also even have a little outdoor seating area yeah. where you can enjoy it there. Yeah, well, we're gonna keep on, well, we're gonna enjoy this and then we'll see you in a minute. We're gonna keep on going. Just across the street from Breaking Bread, you will see Little Lucha Taqueria. We've noticed that there has been a large lines over there people wanting some tacos so if you're in the mood for them that could be a great spot there is also a skate park that's where we are right now and it has a basketball court so bring your basketball if you want to shoot some hoops over to my left here is the aptly named restaurant called The Roof. Last night we were walking by and we were kind of looking up and I noticed they had this huge projection like TV. They were showing the football match and it looks like it has probably one of the best views in town. So that could be a nice spot for you. And then below it is a supermarket. Man, make sure you are staying hydrated because it is hot here. I just popped into the supermarket to grab some water and something you will probably notice when you are walking around and shopping is that the prices are much higher here than other places in Central America, almost comparable to back home in the States. It's about 30 to 50% more than other places you will find in Latin America. And that's largely due to the fact that they have a high import tax here. It's something that, you know, kind of caught us a little bit off guard. Normally we go to the supermarket to save money but yesterday we were looking at a small jar of peanut butter and it was nine dollars <laughs> Interesting. See, he just he just saw how much the peanut butter was and it drove him crazy. <laughs> One pro tip we learned from our hostel, if you want veggies or fresh fruit, come down here on the main road. There's a fruit and veggie truck here. This lady is so sweet. And we came down here yesterday, got watermelon, avocados, bananas, she has strawberries, whatever you need. And they were so fresh and delicious and cheaper than the grocery stores. Oh, and she's just here on the weekdays, so don't forget that. If when you arrive here, you are in need of a SIM card, every Everybody around said we needed to go with the service Claro. So we came down here to Fast Sell and they set everything up for us. It was super easy. We ended up going with the plan that is for 30 days. It comes with five gigs and with the SIM card and that package, it costs 12,000 colones, which is about $20. Yeah. There's a lot of places around town that can help you with it. We just ended up coming here. So if you need, you come here too. All right, let's keep going. As you continue down the road, you're gonna to come to a T. To the left is beach access, just a little bit farther down. To the right goes deeper into the town where you're gonna find more of those restaurants, bars, hotels, and lots more souvenir shopping, as well as bathing suits and things you might need to enjoy your day on La Playa. And this guy just pulled up right here. This is Imperial. It is the national beer of Costa Rica and absolutely delicious. So make sure to have at least one or two cold ones <laughs> while you're here. And they obviously have to stock up every day because it goes down quite good. Nice and easy. And it's on your hat. Show them your oh, hat. Oh yeah, right there. Check it out. Love it. And speaking of hats, the other day we actually went out and bought these and we were surprised to find out that when we were paying, they charged us in US dollars. So we said, you know what? We want to pay in galones and he did the conversion for us and it ended up being more expensive. Of all the places we've been in the world, it's almost always cheaper to pay in the local currency, but here it actually ends up being cheaper to pay in US dollars, at least at the places at that places. we have been. Like, yeah, we've noticed some restaurants will charge, charge in USD, but then others in the local currency so i don't really know what the best thing to do maybe pay with your credit card that doesn't have international transaction fees or brings usd and get out some colones it's kind of yeah. at, the at, at the atms that we've been using they actually offer the option of dollars or colones mm -hmm. so that's something you might want to bear in mind and also download a currency converter app so you tip. can always do you know the transactions because even at our hostel we booked our place on booking.com and it was in usd and then when we were gonna pay in colones it was gonna be like 25 dollars more so yeah, yeah. it's just kind of interesting something that you know when you're on vacation you don't really want to think about all the time but yep. And like, I, don't, I don't know if it's like that in all of Costa Rica yeah. or just here, but yeah. just be aware of it. Yeah. 
And where we're sitting right now is actually at El Mercadito. We came here last night for dinner and it was muy sabroso. It's a really interesting like food park. They have food and cocktails. And some great music playing. Yeah. They even have this boat bar. It's like a sailboat mm -hmm. that they've converted into a bar. They have draft beer. They have a ton of food options yeah. and it's a really great vibe. So if you are like in a big group and people, you know, someone wants Italian, someone wants sushi, it's a place that can serve everyone in your party. We actually got sushi last night. I got the soy paper roll. And I got the king crab roll. We liked mine the best. It was, the the wins. tuna was so fresh. I'm just dreaming of it right now. <laughs> so yeah, this is definitely another place that we recommend. And behind me here is Pops. This is supposed to be a great place to pick up some ice cream and cool down in that midday heat. We're not gonna get any right now though because we're going for a very special treat a little later on. But for now, let's head to the beach. Oh, I see the beach right here. Looks so pretty. And the colorful Tamarindo sign, which is probably a great place to snap a photo. And before you get to the beach, you will see the Pacifico Bar, which is a great nightlife spot, as well as the Surf Shack over here, which is known for its burgers and wings. Adam, may I have a mango, sir? <laughs> Can I get you a mango? <laughs> Anything? No? Okay. <laughs> A little later. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the beach. It's La Playa, baby. Like Adam just said, welcome to the beach. I am hiding in the shade right now because you know this little skin is so sensitive to that sun. But this is such a beautiful place to come. It's nice and long and spread out. There's a lot of areas to sit and enjoy the views out in the, I guess it's sort of like a little bay here. You can see a lot of boats and along the beach there's restaurants, hotels, places to get massages. Behind me here are horses so you can do a horseback ride and what I like is they have the little bags around their butt to collect the poo so it's not all over the beach. So yeah, it's just a great place to come down and take a stroll on the beach. We are now gonna do just that. We're gonna head down a little bit to where the surfers are because we haven't talked about that yet. Tamarindo is known as a premier place to learn how to surf. The waves are very gentle and consistent. So if you're looking to do that, this could be the spot. And as you're walking down the beach, you are gonna see lots of restaurants and beach clubs along the way. Right behind me here, is El Bay. We actually came down here last night and there was fire dancing. It was so cool. I think they have it every night. I think they do too. It's like when the sun goes down, the lights on the beach come up and the party begins. <laughs> Finger dancing. <laughs> Just a few steps down, we saw this place here called Tama Onda. It looks like they have happy hour all day, every day, which is amazing. And it also says that they have the best fire show in town. So I think I smell a rivalry here. I think we're gonna have to come down here later and compare the two. I like that idea. And if you're looking for a little more upscale place to stay right on the beach, there is the Tamarindo Diria Hotel. This place looks fancy. They have tons of loungers, a nice restaurant, a beautiful pool with a view of the ocean. And we just talked to someone, they said the prices range from about 150 to 200 a night. So this is definitely something if you have a little more in your budget, let's keep heading down the beach. And I cannot tell you how envious I am of these people getting massaged. I was just sitting there when Adam was getting the info of that resort, watching her just rub his knots out. And I was just imagining it was my neck. So I asked how much it was, $30 an hour, which I think is just wonderful. So I think tomorrow we're gonna have to take a little break from work and get down here and oh, definitely. rub all that little stress out of us. <laughs> and as you head to the north side of the beach, you will come to where most of the surfing is taking place, at least the teaching part. Out here you see lots of people of all different levels kind of enjoying themselves. The waves are kind of small right now. I think that there's other times of the year where they might be larger over here. <laughs> Turn with me. There are lots of chairs and shade. We found out it costs $20 for the day for two chairs and an umbrella. So you can really enjoy yourself down here and not be crispy when you leave at the end of the night. Also, one more tip, when you're out in the ocean here, remember the rocks are not exposed sometimes when the water is high. So don't just run in and dive or anything because you could really hurt yourself. But there are Salve oh, Vidas. Salve Vidas right up Life here. Guards. Who are here to look out for you, which is great, but if you hit your head on a rock, it's not gonna do you much good. Yeah, so just be careful. We care about you. And as you're walking down the beach, you are gonna see flags. These are important to pay attention to. Yellow means it's a warning. It could be a riptide out here, but it's still okay to swim, just be cautious. Right down here, 
is the red. If you see a red flag, that means don't swim in front of it because you might get pulled out to sea. Just be careful. You want to come to the beach and enjoy yourself. Safety first. That's right. And while we're enjoying this beautiful beach life, we would love to give a special shout out to our newest patrons. Jason, John, Kim. Don, Ben, Monique, Parker, and Frankie Mai. Hi everyone and thank you so much for all of your contributions. We want to dedicate this incredible beach and the whole day to you today. Yeah. Thank you so much for being part of our community. Yeah, if you would like to join our Patreon community, we will put the link in the description below. Well, all right, let's keep going. Over here, like we mentioned earlier, we hope to get a very special treat, so come along. So just north of Playa Tamarindo is Playa Grande. You can see it's separated here by the Tamarindo River that actually runs into the estuary. We've heard there are crocodiles. Well, we actually know there are crocodiles back here. And there was an attack back, I think, eight years ago seven eight years ago so you need to be very careful when you're crossing they do have boat taxis up here to cross if you would like to so just to be safe we are gonna take that instead of wading through this water here so let's go jump in one we actually just got down to the end of the beach there was a boat waiting there we hopped in it was 1,000 calones each to cross over to Playa Grande over here yeah. and it took like 30 seconds and what time is the last boat five o'clock yeah. and that's only one way so when you come back down you walk to the same spot wave to the guy and he'll come over and pick you up. Yeah, he's right over there. He just goes back and forth all day long. Sounds like a pretty good deal. <laughs> Speaking of boat trips, we actually learned that Tamarindo is kind of sandwiched between a national park here. It's called Marino Las Baulas. And if you'd like, you can take a tour through the mangrove estuary here. We did it yesterday morning and it was so much fun. It actually leaves just from right here, so check it out. We booked this tour at the tour booth in Via Amaria Beachfront Hotel for $30 each, which was the best price we found in town. They picked us up at 7.20 a.m. and we were on the boat cruising by 7 30 and we actually lucked out as we had it all to ourselves during the tour we saw many beautiful birds in the trees and flying overhead we even saw a hawk try to catch a smaller bird right by our boat the ride took us through thick mangrove forests where we spotted some holler monkeys and our cute little baby it was so amazing there were crabs and fish jumping as well as two crocodile spottings it was an absolute wonderful and affordable way to get acquainted with some of Costa Rica's wildlife and diversity. Not only was it fun, but it was one mangrovey tour. <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta be like the best one I've heard so far. Thank you, thank you. I was working on that Man all day. Mangroovy, baby. Mangroovy, baby. <laughs> all right, let's go check out Playa Grande. We have never been here, so we're seeing everything with fresh eyes with you. This beach is like the complete opposite of that beach over there. There's nothing down here, or at least very little. We're just walking, there's not people around. It's so quiet and peaceful. All you can hear are the waves. It looks like right here, there's like a little fort inside of a <laughs> bush that you could hang out in some shade if you needed it. There's a couple surfers in the water, but I think if you're looking for a different kind of experience, pay the thousand colones, come over here and just have the beach to yourself. Very cool. Let's keep going. We've been walking for about 10 to 15 minutes. I've been checking my Google Maps to see where we're gonna need to cut in. And we saw this sign. It says, no mascotas or no pets allowed. Where we are right now on the beach is actually a turtle nesting area, mm -hmm. so it is protected. You can take tours from Tamarindo. They'll bring you down here at night. You can actually see green turtles and olive ridneys, ridleys coming in yeah. and creating their nests right here on the beach. Yeah, I believe there used to be a lot of leatherbacks here, but unfortunately due to us. Human they, development. Yeah, they've kind of, they've gone to other secluded beaches. But yeah, I think we're just gonna take this little path here and go to the cafe. Oh, is it right here? Let's go. <laughs> you know, the only way I can get him to do these long, hard things is by enticing him with some food. And it looks like it's just right up here. Thank goodness we've made it to Cafe Mar Azul and we made it just in yeah, time because they were like, sorry, we're closed. And I was like, no, please. We came all this way. And she took pity on me and she gave me their most popular treat that they have here. It is a banana bread ice cream sandwich. Yeah, we traveled all this way for that. And I mean, it looks incredible. Just based on looks, it was totally worth it. <laughs> yeah. But let's jump in. I'm so jealous because I'm gluten free, so I can't. This eat whole thing's this. for me. Yeah. I didn't even realize this is great. <laughs> the banana bread is like perfect. It has that beautiful banana flavor, nice and spongy. And this vanilla ice cream, mm mm mm. 
Gracias. But I can still enjoy the ice cream, actually, so he's not as happy. Man, you know what? I'll make an exception for you. And while Adam was enjoying his treat, I was Sorry, enjoying, babe. it's okay, checking out this magazine here. It's called The Swell Dealer. And it has a lot of, you know, advertisements for businesses in Tamarindo and over here in Playa Grande. But what I really like is they have a whole month with all, everything that's going on, like the events, live music, places that have happy hours, what they're offering. So when you come here, try to find this and pick it up. Also over here, yeah, it says all the happy hours and what they have. Ladies nights. All day specials, yeah. Like there's ladies nights where ladies drink for free till midnight. When's guys night, man? I, I know, for real though, come on. <laughs> but yeah, this is, it just seems like a great way to get to know, you know, the deals around and it's a little just extra. to see what's going on. Wow, that was great and definitely the break we needed. I mean, I can actually feel this like <laughs> ball of cool kind of radiating up from my stomach. Sorry, babe. What? You didn't get to have any. It's okay. No, I had some ice cream. Oh, right, right. Okay. Brain dead. The heat is just sizzling it that is. brain It is. It's been cooked like an egg. <laughs> but we are actually going to jump over to another beach here. It's called Playa Langosta. We went there last night for sunset and it was spectacular. We have to take you there. But instead of taking you along the whole way and that arduous walk back over there, we're just going to jump over there. So come with us. Ooh. Whoa, <laughs> man, I gotta get used to that. It's kind of, ooh. It's a little bit of like, not time travel, but speed travel. Yes, speed travel, I like it. We'll say, but yes, we aren't at Playa Langosta yet, but we are here back on Playa Tamarindo. We wanted to show you this a little bit at sunset. For sure, so if you come down and you're facing the ocean and you go to the left, that's where we are right now. We're heading yeah. down towards the headland and we're gonna be going around that during low tide. You have the option of walking on the rocks and sand to get over to there, or you can cut through, like if it's high tide, mm -hmm. there's a trail that will take you up and over and down to where you wanna be. And we'll show you that, but right now on this beach, you can see these people Ooh. are going by on a horseback Sunset right now. Sunset horse ride? I know. Man, I'm jealous. Yeah, there were dogs running around, playing in the water. The birds are flying and diving in, getting in, getting oh, yeah. some dinner. They're, they're the these guys out there with these hand line fishing like on the little spool and they're throwing it out and they're pulling them in really quick and getting some pretty decent sized fish. Yeah, everyone's just, you know, they're in their seats just waiting for the sun to set. It's a really nice time to be down Best here. Best show in town. It sure is. But yeah, why don't we head in front of us and go to that little walkway. We'll show you how you can get up and over to the next beach. We better hurry. We don't want to miss the sunset. <laughs> Let's go. We've made it down to the decision point. <laughs> you can either go continuing down the beach. It's low tide, so you can actually make it around. We're going to take you on the always accessible way through here, the wooden gates. You make a right onto the trail, down to the fork, make a right, and then it opens up into this incredible sunset view. Welcome to a beautiful sunset. Oh my gosh, look at that. So nice. You can actually continue down a little bit more so you can get like the whole beach in front, but this is that like postcard view right here, a little. Yeah, take a little picture up here. Well, let's right. continue down, take them to the beach. Let's do it. What a sight. Pretty sweet. Yeah. And this is Playa Langosta right here. It is, and it's usually way less busy than the main beach in town here. So if you don't want to go all the way down to Playa Grande, you could also come down here and just kind of sit out. It'll actually wrap around a little bit over here. It goes to the other mangroves that we mentioned earlier. So this is where the sandwich happens, just around the corner, mangrove heaven. <laughs> Let's keep going. You see his sunburn? Oh my gosh. You got a redneck. Just like my smoothie this morning. <laughs> this little girl over here, her name is Spice. We actually encountered her yesterday while we were down here. She was following us around, jumping all over us. She was being playful, like, but biting, you know, it was a little much at times. So if you encounter her, you know, just strictly say no down, stuff like that. And we've noticed that she, she'll listen, um, but yeah. You'll probably see her around. It seems like she just kind of runs around. We're not really, we're not sure who her owner is, but it seems like she likes to come here for the sunset. <laughs> She's over with Adam right now. But yeah, it's like, see that? Hey. She's just, yeah, yeah, a little wild thing. Sit, enjoy the sunset. <laughs> But yeah, she's super cute though too. Yeah, so it's kind of hard to be mad at her for being a playful pup. And as the sun is going down, we would love to just give some final thoughts on Tamarindo. You know, I wasn't sure when we got here 
that I liked it. We've been here for a couple of days mm -hmm. and I like it. It grows on you for sure. You know, it is quite busy, very touristy, and at first that might seem like a turnoff for some people. But after a couple of days, we were like, okay, we see the appeal of this place. Especially if you're coming on vacation for a week or two. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you want something a little different than say an all-inclusive place you normally go to, you can fly to Costa Rica, Liberia, be here in one yeah. hour, get yourself a nice hotel mm -hmm. right on the beach for 150 bucks a night, maybe even cheaper if you book it farther in advance. Yeah. And they have so many options for food and activities. Yeah, it's a wonderful place for families too, mentioning the activities. Like you can do the, a jungle tour, you can go to a volcano, there's hiking, there's zip lining, there's surfing, Kayaking, yeah. you know, it's just kind of like a all in one kind of stop. And we took you to that one uh, food court today, the El Ma Me Mecardito. Mecardito. But you know what? Yeah. They actually have three more mm -hmm. similar ones, but with different offerings in this tiny little town. Yeah. Just like one more block, there's another one, another mm -hmm. one, another one. A lot of international food, so you're not going to be like, you know, hungry for choices. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so we've definitely, yeah, we're, we've been enjoying it. I think we're looking forward to maybe going to some other beaches that maybe are a little more off the beaten path, a little less touristy, but. But you know what? Even even here we got that on Playa Grande. Yeah, that's true. You have and, the option to get away and, and down right here. And right over here at Langosta. So yeah. So yeah, it's definitely, it's a good spot to come. For sure. Bring your family or just come on your own. Like our hostel, you can meet a ton of people when you go out at night, same thing. Everyone's very open and just here trying to have a good time. Mm. <laughs> so unfortunately, I think it is time oh, to man. say our goodbyes. We're gonna sit here and watch the sunset with you, but. Thank you so much yeah. for coming along today. Mm -hmm. It would have been nowhere near as much fun to do without having you here to share it with. Yeah, so if you've, if you've been here all the way since Mexico and Guatemala and now you're in Costa Rica. Thanks for joining us. And if it's your first video with us, thanks for being here as well. We hope you'll stay along for the ride. Absolutely. And if you enjoyed this, this video, video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment, and don't forget to <laughs> ling 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 <laughs> the bell. We'll see you next time. Adios and pura vida. Pura vida.